Hey guys, thanks to all of you who have tuned in to Chess Journal YouTube channel. Let's try to play a long play game. And what are we gonna get? Let's try 10 minutes plus 5 rapid. See who we get. And we got a game and we got a black pieces against knight f3. I don't know what should we do. Let's play d5. This is a kind of like uh, the ready opening. Um, so against c4, what should we do? Uh, the opponent is indicating that he probably wants to play the English opening. Uh, let's push the pawn. Okay, this is, I think, purely a ready opening uh, that we are playing. This is, uh, I believe, the advanced variation. Uh, what should we do here? Let's develop our this knight, knight f6. So here we have got a pawn in the center and our opponent has got his pawns uh, in the flank. He's probably gonna fear shadow his Dasker Bishop and then attack this guy. Um Let's quickly check his uh, check his profile. Okay, so he's just like us, mostly a rapid, mostly or no, um, fully a rapid player. Gaba Gandalf. I reckon this is going to be an interesting game. Yeah, like as discussed, he just finished his dark skirmish. Now this pawn is under fire. So how do we defend it? I don't know. I seriously don't know. Let's damage his pawn structure. So if he takes there, he's going to have double pawns. Or if he doesn't take, then we're surely going to take here. So he took and let's spin the knight. I'm just playing instinctively, to be honest. Uh, I don't have much knowledge in playing the ready, ready opening. Um, but some for some openings uh having little knowledge little to none knowledge is playable provided that we stick to the principles like developing pieces quickly as soon as possible to their optimal squares now we our bishop is attacked what do we do we can target this one let's attack that one But I'm um, just concerned that if we go here, then what do we have? If we go here, then has he got any checks? Yeah, he's got a check one here. Um, or he could defend by jumping his knight here. And then that knight is not chaseable by us with any pawns. So I think let's not do that. Let's not come here. Oh boy. Or 
already we are in in an uncomfortable position let's simplify try to keep it simple then now this pawn is under fire and as well as our rook so what do we do we we have options to go here or go here if we go there then he's gonna come here and in that case what do we do do we have to forget about this pawn and then um, have lines open against the queen side yeah let's try that one see what he has uh, what has he got yeah already as you can see the game has turned an interesting one at this rating level uh, we can expect that our opponents know what they are doing with their opening so which is the reason why um, we played d3 here to put him in an uncomfortable situation where he had to take here <clears throat> thanks to you um, and a special thanks to all of you who have subscribed to my channel and kept me motivated and those of you who are new please make sure to subscribe to my channel so what do we do now um, what do we do now okay let's try to develop Yeah, let's play e6. He can, um, surprisingly enough, uh, although he has got double pawns here, his king would be safe here. And in that case, we need open lines. So, which is why, which is the reason why I'm not worried about this one. And the question is, if he goes king side, then how do we play? I reckon we should stick to the queen side and be and keep an eye on this thing. So Good to see that our opponent is thinking and clockwise we are now doing all right. Okay, so they played G3. What's the purpose of that move? Are they gonna finish with their life square bishop? Probably. Probably yes. Probably yes. Um, now what should we do? Um, here, and then takes here with the queen. Okay, in that case, we have this one. Yeah, I just see this one. Okay, now I have just seen, I've just done a little calculation. I'm just gonna play this one to open up lines we're not worried about this one at the moment because that's what I was calculating jumping here so yeah let's jump here and if he takes then his rook will be under fire so he doesn't have time to take this one so uh, as you can see if he takes this one we're happy because we're gonna jump in there so he has taken our knight list put a threat on his rook <clears throat> so now we have a bit of time to consider what to do should we guard this one 
or should we not? Um, just like in my previous games, I said it many times that in that, this kind of situation, we need to calculate. Uh, at the moment, this one is under fire. Do we have any counter blue? Yes, we have one, and that's here to keep a battery. Put a battery here, and so the this one is going to be a threat. Although, if he takes here, then we have um, safe score. That's not a check. So we can come somewhere here with our rook. So let's put pressure on this one, his weakest, weakest square. See what he does. Probably it's not good for him to take this one. B7. He has to go somewhere, either here or here, and then here. If he comes here, no, he went there, okay. So now what to do? Now uh, this one, we can put a defense on this one. Let's go here. I'm sure this is going to be a, an enjoyable game for me to play and for for you to watch. Let's castle. So if I were him uh, now, I would have tried to get rid of this Dioscar Bishop by going here, albeit that puts his knight uh, at the edge of the board. But this bishop is very powerful, our bishop. And we need to constant, constantly be thinking or be aware of his pawn Majority at the queen side. Sorry for the background noise if you hear any. Like I said, that I live in the city and <clears throat> this is quite a no noisy place. Our rating um, is not so bad. Um, although, oh, oh, yeah, I remember I won the last game, and that one is that one was I think a QGD, and I published that one. Um, in YouTube. So at the moment, this one is his weak pawn. So we'll probably go here and target this one. Get rid of the queens. If allowed to. I think the position is position is at the moment uh, roughly equal, and clockwise we're doing better now. Is he thinking to go here? It's taking a lot of time. Yeah, he should go there. Shouldn't have. Shouldn't be allowing this one. So um, our opponent needs to be aware of the time or clock situation. Yeah, he has gone there as anticipated. 
now what do we do uh, I think we should keep an eye on this one so as far as that is concerned uh, we need to stay on this line where we can go where can we go here 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 and I think we should come here that way we can also make sure that our task or bishop is defended mm, because undefended pieces are vulnerable for tactical shots so let's come here queen d6 it is so he has by playing a4 he has glued his pawns like this but now what, what do we do let's go here and as discussed put pressure on here this one as much as possible he can't come here thanks to a dark square bishop so let's go here Rook F D one because we still need to guard this one, so we shouldn't have gone this one. We shouldn't have gone this way. So to defend this one, he has. If he wants to defend this one, he has only one option, and that's to come here. Knight F four guard this one or oh sorry a couple of options he can go there as well so he has decided to play knight f4 and we can actually kick the knight like this but if we do this it's gonna come here and we're gonna go here it's here and then exchange the queen's position is quite unclear or that requires for me to calc uh, a lot of time to calculate so what do we do we can do the same thing uh, the one th that I'm seeing at the moment our objective is to our plan is to attack this one so let's come here and put it here so that uh, more pressure is added so i'm liking the look of that one so let's put our knight to d7 um we can still uh rook f e1 doesn't stop us playing this one unless he wants to sacrifice his rook and be exchanged down Okay, am I missing something? Take, take. No, I'm not missing anything. But what is the purpose? He played it quite quickly. So, I'm a bit worried. But my calculation, short call calculation, doesn't tell me that we are missing anything so let's take this one um let's take the knight with our queen and let's get rid of the get rid of the queens let's pre move <clears throat> i'm sure i could have played this position much better but i We'll, we'll have a look after the game. Oh, okay, this is a common uh, theme. If, if you have done puzzles a lot, see this one is, this pawn is pinned to our task square bishop, thanks to that. So we can um, grab g3. So let's grab that one. 
thanks to all the puzzles that I do in mostly in chess.com this is a common I think common theme in those kind of puzzles 16-1700 ratings so now we uh, again going back to our strategy uh, it looks that as if we're gonna lose our bishop but uh, his rook at a1 is undefended so let's attack that one say so that saves our bishop so he has to address that unless he wants to be an exchange down so now what can we do we can I think we can take this one here yeah, let's take this one it's a very tight game clockwise speaking Um, okay, so he has attacked our queen. Now, uh, where do we go? If he, if we go here, takes there, take there, take, take. Okay, let's go here. No, we don't want to draw, so let's protect our bishop like that now we are sh uh, surely doing better these are the weaknesses that he needs to address <clears throat> okay so let's take this one Now he has these two weaknesses again. Uh, what do we do now? Let's take this one. We shouldn't take this one because then this, this, and checkmate. We need a flight square. So how do we? Let's create a flight square. Oh man, this is clockwise speaking. This is tough. Let's make this postpone rolling. We have a passer, fortunately. Let's attack his queen. Sorry, uh, I was a bit silent because I was thinking it's a critical moment of the game. Um, what do we do now? Let's roll up this one. Oh, we could have taken this one because this one is okay. Our queen is attacked. We'll save it or save her. We can give a check. Let's prove. No, no, we cannot. We shouldn't pre move because we're not sure whether he's going to play that one. Maybe he could attack our rook. Yeah, that way. Uh, let's come here. Send centralize sorry I'm talking a bit um, lower 
voice oh that's a little red Okay, let's take this one. I was almost gonna miss that. So, uh, okay, let's push this one. This one is guarded. Tough, very tough. It gets very tough when the clock gets low. Let's create a little thread again. Tag this one as well as little Fred I was talking about. Yeah, he could do that, but we are covered. Yeah, so he has resigned. Shoo, that was a close call with the time situation as far as the time situation is concerned. Let's quickly analyze the game. I'm sure we're going to take... Uh, something away from this game and it was a tough game I must say okay let's turn the engine on let's go back okay so it was knight f3 d5 I can see for we played d4 uh, and Kapita likes this one. Yeah, uh, as you can see, uh, he played b4. Uh, as, as I was saying, our opponent knows the fury b4. And instead of knight f6, I should have gone there immediately. Yeah. I think I've seen this one somewhere. Exact, exact position. Now I can remember, but during the during the game I couldn't remember, so I played knight f6, bishop b2, I played d3, and the computer is telling me that's a double question mark. That's a huge mistake. And instead I should have still played this one. But I didn't see that, so they took, we pinned the knight, and then we capture. Okay, instead of knight c6, they wanted us to play c6, but I wanted to play knight c6, so play knight c6. Here, here, okay, they're telling to go immediately here. But then I was gonna do here, and had they taken this pawn, then we would have jumped in. So he he didn't, he couldn't have he wouldn't have time to take this one. Had to address this one. He could have taken our couldn't have he could have took our knight and we could have taken back. And then his rook would be under fire. So that was the calculation I did during the game and our, I'm sure our opponent did so so they played a3 e6 okay against a5 this one up to this I think we discussed this uh, position during the game see the computer is still telling him to take this one I don't understand the computer. Maybe the masters do. Oh, what am I saying? Maybe, surely they do. But I'm not a master. So they played that one. Here. We got this one. Castle, castle. 92. Yeah, from this point of time, I reckon we played good. Okay, they wanted us to create a flight square then, but we dived in, tagged that one, came there, that was a mistake. We simplified and that was a blunder. 
and this is the strategy I was talking about when you are under fire look for other um, uh, forcing moves check captures attack it is then okay I didn't see this one why I don't know the computer wants us to go here and these all things we discussed during the game and uh, as you can see the eval bar went shoo, skyrocket yeah so I think that's all so total we made in total we ma in total we made one blunder they made one blunder um, free inaccuracies, free inaccuracies versus zero inaccuracies, zero mistakes. Um, thanks to you for watching this game. Make sure to subscribe and till the next time, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.